Hi, this is Mar Looms Creations, and today I'm going to show you how to create Elf on the Shelf on your loom. This is a single loom design, but we will be making the body and then the face and attaching them. For today, I'm going to show you how to make the elf that looks like this, but if you want it to be a girl, then I will show you how to make the skirt and how to add the hair during the looping process. So let me tell you how many bands you're going to need. You will need 224 red bands, and it sounds like a lot, but this project is so much fun. You will need 52 white bands. That is not including the skirt. The 52 white bands are for the um, collar, the hat, and the hands. The skirt, that is done separately, so you would need an additional um, band, which I did not count these. So altogether, so far, it's 224 red, 52 white, 12 brown for the hair. Now, for the hair, you're only going to need 12 if you're making it a boy. If you're making it a girl, you're going to need an extra set of 7 bands per strand. And I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So you're going to need 7 per strand. And I have 5 of them, so that's 35 plus the 12 brown in the front. And that will make it a female. And so all together, it is 12 brown bands unless you're making it a girl. And then for the skin color, it's going to be 47. And for the top of the hat, I have used a large pony bead. If you don't have a large pony bead, you can just use the red bands, which is fine. As you notice, for her face, I have used two small pony beads. And for her nose, if you don't have small pony beads, you can just use two black bands and two bands to match the color of your nose, like a lighter pink if you want. So gather your supplies, and then the first thing we're going to do is make her arms and her legs. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to make your Elf on the Shelf's legs and arms. For the arms, you are going to start with your red bands, and you're going to use two at a time, and you're going to place two here, and you're going to go down nine times with red. Once you have went down nine times with red, you're going to use two white bands and go down two times using two white bands. And this is your elf's arm. You're going to take a single white band and cap it, wrapping it around four times. So you can do that again. Go down nine times. and then switch to your white, and then another set of white. And then you're going to cap it, wrapping it around four times. So now you can begin to loop these by reaching underneath the cap and bringing each one of the bands forward. And do the same with the other one.
and then you can remove them. And you can place them to the side. And just if you have some twisted bands, you just want to fix that so that it doesn't make your doll look funny in the end. So you can take them off and place that to the side. And now we're going to make the legs. So for the legs, you're going to, again, go down with double red. And you will go down nine times and then cap it. So this is the ninth one and you're going to cap it, wrapping a single around four times. And you're going to do the same thing on this side, just go down nine times. And again, capping it, wrapping it around four times. And once again, looping them, reaching underneath, and just looping all of these. Same on these. And again, taking them off and placing them to the side. place them to the side and then we are going to be making the collar to your doll and you're going to need an S-clip for this you can do the collar after or I can show you now so I will show you now just so that you have that ahead of time so for the collar of your elf you will need your white bands and I prefer to do it on the hook only because I feel like it comes out a lot neater and this is what the collar is going to look like and you need six of them and how I do it on the hook is I take a single band I wrap it around itself and then I grab both loops and wrap it around itself again Then I take another single band wrap it around itself on my hook and I transfer all of those loops on those two and then I grab the other loop <coughs> and then I take another single band wrap it around itself and I pull it through and I grab the other loop so you're going to need six of these all together once you have made all six then I will show you and you do need a spare hook or a um, toothpick because once if you place it to the side they're going to come undone because they are wrapped around twice so they will come undone so make six of these and then I will show you what to do once you've made six so once you have made six of these little pieces you're going to take two more bands two single bands stretch it a little bit and you're going to transfer all of these little capped bands onto those two bands like that just continue to transfer them on and then you're going to grab both loops 
and you will open them up a little bit and then you can S clip these together or C clip. So I will take a C clip and I will C clip each corner. And you just C-clip each corner and you can place that to the side. So that's your collar for your elf. So now we have the arms, the legs, the collar. And if you are making a girl elf, you are going to make one, two, three, four, five. I will show you how to do one. But you will make five strands of seven. So you're just going to go down the loom seven times. And this is only if you want a female. If you don't want, if you want a male, then you're just not going to even do this. You're going to skip that part. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Wrap this around four times. This is a single. Then you would <coughs> loop this, or not. This is one to get looped. And then you would make, I have one, two, three, four, five, so you do need five strands. And I just wanted to show you why I do a lot of things on my hook. Do you see how that looks on the loom? These were done by hand. I did this on the hook, and it's so much neater. And then this is on the loom. This is why I've gotten more comfortable doing the strands and even the arms and legs on my hook. It just doesn't come out like this. But if you are more comfortable with your... Um, loom then you can do that so once you have you can pause the video and make all the little links for her hair and once you have done that and the collar then we will go to the next step so now we're going to start the body of our elf and you're going to start with your you're going to grab three skin bands and you're going to place the three on these two pegs right here and that's the only time we need the skin bands for this part right now now you're just going to be using just red bands for the rest of the way. So grabbing two bands at a time, you're going to go to the left and to the right. And then you are going to go down nine times using double red. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. And then you are going to do the same thing on this side. And the same thing in the middle. So basically every row is the same amount. Just make sure you're using double bands. And now fill in the middle. And you're going to stop on these two where it looks like a triangle on the bottom. 
And then once you have placed your very last two bands here, you should have two sets of pegs left over on each row. Take two bands, and from here to here, you're going to place two bands, and from here to here. Then grab three red bands, <coughs> grab three red, and place three here, and grab another three, and place three here. Just three on these two, and then followed by two. So you can place two bands here and two bands here. So it was three, three, and then these two. Now you're going to push everything down because we're going to be adding another layer on top. If you want, you can now add the feet to your elf. The feet are the one that don't have the white on them. The white is the hand. And you can place it on the bottom. The same thing on this side. And now and you're not adding the arms because that's added after. So now you're going to take two bands at a time and go down your loom on the row on the top overlapping. And you're going to go down nine times. So you should have went down nine times, and you're not putting anything on the last two. The same thing on this side. <coughs> you're placing two here. Oops, um, you should have went down one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine only, and do not put anything on these two or these two. So now we're going to <laughs> add the arms. So you're going to grab the arms and placing it on these two right here on the top. And you're going to do the same thing on these. Now we're going to be placing our triangle bands. And from the bottom, you're going to count one, two, three, four, the fourth peg up from where the feet are. And you're placing a triangle band on these three. So not on these two. So it's one, two, three, fourth, triangle band, a triangle band here. And on these three, on these three these three and on these three so all together you should have placed <clears throat> sorry one two three four five six seven eight triangle bands and you should not have placed any on these three right here and now we're going to Grab a single band, and on one, two, three, where the feet are, count one, two, three. You're going to take a single and wrap it around three times on that peg. And the same thing here, a single wrapped around three. And you're going to reach underneath that triangle, uh, that cap band we just placed, and grab the very top two red bands. 
the top layer that we just added and loop it to the peg above. And now you're going to reach in where this triangle band is, push that back again, only grabbing the top two and looping it to the peg above. Again, reaching underneath, making sure that every time you loop, you're pushing the triangle bands back. Reach in here, grab these two, loop forward. Reach in here, loop forward. And you should have a, um, a teardrop shape. Reach in here and loop forward. And the last one, loop forward. So now we're going to do the same thing on this side. You're going to reach in where the cap band is and grab just the top two red bands and loop forward. Same thing here. Grab the top two, loop forward. Push back the triangle band, grab the top two, loop forward. And the last two. <clears throat> so now we're going to take this layer that we just looped and place it to the outside. And to do that, you're going to make sure that you do not remove these two or the last one that's right here that we wrapped around three times. So the last peg right here and the top are not being removed. You're going to take your finger and place it on this peg just so that it doesn't pop off. Grab the second one underneath and place it over to the side, like this. And this one pops off and this one pops off. So now you're gonna do it again. Pop it up and to the side. And these should look like triangle bands. Make sure you place them like that. So now we're gonna do these. And place it over. Make sure that one band is resting above and the other underneath. And then, again, do not remove the one that's on this peg. You can remove these though. So you're gonna take your finger, pop it up and to the side, place this above. And now we're going to, and this is what yours should look like. They should all be on the outside and these should be on that peg being held. And on top, these should be on the armband. Again, not touching these, but removing the second set Popping it up and over, <clears throat> up and over, then grab these, pop it up and over, and these up and over, and again, making sure you do not remove these three bands that are being held on this peg, otherwise everything will fall off. These need to be corrected. One band should rest above and the other two, this one should rest underneath these two. So make sure you should have all the triangle bands. All these are popped on the outside. Once you have done that, we can reach underneath his leg, pull on it, grab the bottom two, and you're going to loop forward. Again, reaching these two, these three. Actually, you should have three bands here and loop forward. Same thing here, reach underneath the leg, loop these two bands forward, and then these three forward. So now when we get, I'm just gonna place these to the side. When we get to this part, you're aiming to grab these two right here. So you're gonna reach in and you're pushing these three bands back inside the peg. So you're pushing those back and you're grabbing these two right here. You are not grabbing the bottom. The bottom are being looped later. So push back, grab those two, and you can see I pull the right ones and place it to the middle right here. Same thing here. You're pushing back these bands inside the peg, grabbing the next set of two red bands, 
I hope I got the right ones. I did. And you place it to the middle. Once you have done that, you're going to re-enter the peg and you should see these two bands. Then you can reach in, grab those two, and bring it to the peg above. Same thing here. Reach in, grab the bottom two, bring it to the peg above. Reach into this peg, push all those bands back, grab the bottom two, loop forward. And now we're just going to loop everything forward and you're just always making sure that you push all the um, triangle bands back. Grab the bottom, loop. So I have looped these three and these three. And now the middle. And you want to make sure that you are looping everything and you should have a teardrop shape. So make sure that so far each row you have looped everything. You don't want him to fall apart after all of this work. And now we have the last three. So you're going to loop this one forward, this one to the neck, and then these two. Then you're reaching in where the arm is, and you're grabbing the bottom two, so push everything back. Grab the very bottom two, bring it to the middle. Same thing here, bottom two, bring it to the middle. Then reach in here and grab the three skin bands and bring them forward. And now you can take, I'm just going to grab a single band that has nothing to do with the color of my um, neck and I'm just going to make a little slip knot, not tight, just so that my neck bands don't come undone when I remove him. So now you can take your elf off of your loom and I'm just going to do it peg by peg I don't want to overly stretch the bands. And now the next step is we're going to be making the hat and the face. And again, if you want yours to be a female elf on the shelf, then you are going to make sure that you have made all the hair pieces. So this is what yours should look like and eventually the bands will settle and they will look nicer. So apparently I didn't loop this one. So this is what happens when you forgot to loop. So now he looks wonky but I could always tear that off. So hopefully you looped. So I'm just going to tear that one off for now. Alright so this is the body of your elf and now we're going to do the hat and the face. So for the hat and the face, for the face I am using two small pony beads for the eyes and a tiny pony bead for the nose and a large pony bead for the top of your elf's hat. And if you don't have these supplies, you will be grabbing two black bands for your eyes and two pink bands for the nose and if you don't have beads for the top you can just use red bands and I will show you when we get to that part. So just gather those supplies and now let's make the elf. So for the elf we're going to do the red bands, white bands and um, 
brown for the hair and the skin. So we need four colors. So the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna grab your red bands. Grabbing two at a time, you're gonna take two and place it here. And then you're gonna place two here. Place two here. And two here. Grabbing, still these are all double bands. Taking two bands from the third peg in the middle row, one, two, three, you're going to stretch it to the fourth on this side. So from the third to one, two, three, the fourth peg on this side. Then you're going to place two here on those two and two here. Placing another two here and two here and do the same thing on each row going down two more times using double red two and two and then two and two so now we're going to switch to our white bands and you're going to do two here, two here, and here. Now if it's if this is a girl elf, you are going to now grab your um, hair pieces and you're going to take two white bands and you're going to transfer one of the little links of the hair onto two white bands and you're going to place it on these two right here. Let's do that over. So grab two white bands and slide the hair onto that and then place it on these two pegs like this. And then do that again. Take your two white bands, transfer one of the hair pieces on it, and then you can just hold it with your finger and place it like that. And then tuck it in. There's that white band. Again, two white bands. Slide one of the hair pieces on and place it on these. And this is only if you're doing um, a girl. If it's a boy, you're just placing two white, two white, two white, and don't worry about the rest. <laughs> so now we have the three pieces. We're going to now switch to the same color that matches the hair. And you're going to place two here, two here. And now switch to your skin bands. I'm sorry, actually two more brown bands. So two here, two here, and then here. So after you added the hair, you added the two brown from here to here, then another two brown here, and another two brown here. Now you can switch to your skin bands. Place two sets on each side. And then you're going to turn in. And fill in the middle with the skin bands. So now we're going to add the eyes. For me, I'm going to show you first that I am just going to use two small pony beads that I just slide onto a skin band. 
and they slide right on and then I place them on these two like that and then I would separate the eyes and then take one loop and place it above. If you don't have that, you're going to take two black bands, you're going to twist your band around your hook four times. Again, place your band around your hook four times. So two separate bands around your hook four times. And then you're going to transfer that, both of these, on to a single skin color. So that's one. And the second set. And they would go like this on these two, and you would do the same thing by placing one of the bands above the peg and one band resting below. So that would be your eye. And for the nose, I'm doing the same thing, grabbing a skin band, and I'm just sliding a small pony bead through that skin band and placing it from here to here. If you don't have that, you will take two pink bands and you're going to take the pink band, wrap it around your hook four times. Take this one, wrap it around itself. Transfer this one on here. Grab the other loop. And transfer that on to slide it, slide a skin band through it and this is your nose and you would place your nose on these two bands right here on these two pegs like that but for now I'm using the little bead so now that you know how to do the eye and the nose so before <laughs> we finish the face let's make the ears so that we don't forget to add them for the ears you're going to take a single band and wrap it around your hook four times or you can just place two bands here on the bottom of your pegs, you can place two bands and then cap it four times. So we can do that too. So that's one ear. And you can do that again. Place two bands, wrap it around four times. And then remove it and place it to the side. Now we are going to take a single red band, wrap it around itself, and place it on these two right here. Another single red band, wrap it around itself, so it's a cap band, place it on these. Another red band, wrap it around itself, place it on these three, and another red band wrap it around itself and place it on these three. Then you're going to, I'm taking a bead that fits on my little hook and I'm going to grab two red bands and slide it through my large pony bead or you can just slide it through. You should, If your pony bead is large it definitely will fit through and you grab the other loop and you would place it on here, on the top right here. If you don't have a large pony bead, you can just grab two red bands, wrap one around four times, wrap another around four times, and then grab two more bands, and you can transfer these capped bands onto those two red bands, and once you have them on the two red bands, you can grab the other loop and that would be your little bead and you can place it on there. So you have this on here, you place one cap, two, three, four. And now we're going to add the extra layer to make her face wider. So to do that, first take a single skin band and on these three pegs right here, you're placing a triangle band. So you have the eyes and nose, a triangle band here, and you have all this. So now, starting with your white bands, you're going to place two white bands right here. 
and two white bands on this side. So we're overlapping these two white with these two and these two. Before you add the second set of white bands, you're going to grab the last two pieces of your hair. This is only if you're doing a girl. If you're doing the boy, you're not adding any curly hair. You're adding just the two white bands like this. You should have added the hair here, even if it was a boy, just these, 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 and these. So one, two, three, four. The extra pieces, don't add. So grab two white bands, slide through, place it on here. Again, same thing, two white bands, slide the piece through. and place it right here. So that's all of the pieces of your hair. So you have one set of white, another set of two whites, and now we're going to switch to the color of the hair. Place the color of the hair here, and on the other side as well, on these two. Now switching to your skin bands. Place two skin bands here, push the triangle bands down, so you place two here, place two here, and then on this peg you are turning in to the middle, so from here to here. I'm going to do the same thing on this side, place two skin bands here, two skin bands here, and turning in on these two and push everything down. Now take a single skin band, place a triangle skin band on these three, and I know it looks crazy right now with all these bands, but it'll look normal in the end. Another triangle band on these three, another triangle band on these three, and these are skin color. Then grab your white bands and place a triangle band on these three. We're not placing anything on where her cheek is right here, one, two, three, four. We're not placing anything on one, two, three, these three right here. But we are placing it on, we're skipping the brown, we're doing the white, one single, and a single right here. So this is, this completes your dolly. And if it's a boy, then you don't have the extra pieces. Everything else is the same except for the little pieces. So now before we add the body, we're going to grab <clears throat> the ears and just remove this triangle band where the eye is. So these three skin bands right here, I mean these where the eye is, this triangle band right here, remove it, place it to the side for a second, because you're going to place, and we can't forget the elves ears, the ear on that peg right there, and the ear on this one right here. And then just, then you can just replace that once you have placed the ear on the same peg as with the eyes, you're going to replace the triangle band. So now you can grab the body to your elf. And you should have six loops, three and three. And you're going to place all six on this peg right here. And you're going to hold it down with your finger and open it up a little bit and grab the very top two and mine are going to the right and then the next top two and mine are going to the left and that's it that's you don't enter the peg anymore at this point you're going to reach in here and you should see a triangle band right here you're going to push that back and then underneath it you should see two bands two skin bands you want to loop that forward you don't want to grab anything else. You're just grabbing these two and these two, the top layer, the bottom layer should stay, um, should remain on your loom. So now reach in here underneath this triangle band and grab the top two skin bands and loop forward. If you're not sure that you grab the right one, you can look to the side and you should see that these have been looped properly and so have these and these are not touched. Reach in here where the ear is, push the ear back, grabbing the top two brown and looping forward. 
reach where the white band is and loop that forward. Then reach in here with these two white bands and loop forward. After you have looped the second white band, you stop. And now we go to this side. We're reaching in here and pushing these four bands back, grabbing the top two skin bands, pushing forward, pushing that triangle band back, grabbing the top two skin bands, looping forward. Now we're reaching where the ear is, pushing that back, grabbing just the top two brown bands or the hair color. These are easy, they're just the two white bands and these two white bands. Again, if you notice, I have not looped anything on the bottom and that's the way yours should look as well. And you stop at that white band right there. So once you have done that, you're going to remove this layer and place it to the outside of your doll, of your loom, and you are not going to touch the top two white bands right here. You're gonna start with the second, so you can place your thumb here so it doesn't pop off. Take the second and pinch the ones that you have looped and pop it off to the side. And don't get scared, this one didn't have a triangle band, but that's okay. And so you should have the hair over here and this one should have popped off. Now where the ear is, you can pinch those and you are popping the entire ear off and placing it to the side. And this one right here, pop it off to the side. And finally, you are removing this peg right here. So don't get scared, you should remove this one. You pop it up and place it over to the side like this. So you should have popped off this one, this one, one, two. Let me fix this. Your bands, by the way, should look like a triangle, so make sure they do. And you popped off one, two, three. This came off as well. And this one, you did not touch these two. So now we're gonna do the same thing on this side, not touching the top, starting at the second, grabbing these two, popping it off to the side, and the hair popped off automatically, and then this one. So now the ear, you can pinch it, pop it off, and where the nose is, pop it off, and then finally, you're popping off these two right here, these four bands. Pop up, and Make sure that it looks like that to the side. And make sure your triangle bands look like triangle bands. See how this one is not right? You're gonna grab it and there should be a line underneath and there should be a line on top. Now we just have the nose left over so don't get worried about that and then the eyes. So now the last thing is to loop the middle. So you're gonna reach in back into the neck and if you wanna pull on it just a little bit you can and you're aiming for, yet again, the very top two skin bands, and mine are going forward, and you can tell you grab the right ones while you pull on it. Grab the next top two, and they go to the left, and the remaining two go to the right. So that completes that bottom part. You're gonna reach in here and push back all these bands, and grab just the bottom two, and loop forward. If you feel there's some tension, you can see here this looks tight, you can take your hook, enter the peg, and go in a circular motion, and that will release it so that your band is not being pulled so tightly. Again, reach in here, you're pushing everything back, grabbing these two, and I see there's tightness in the band, so I'm going to go in a circular motion and fix that. Don't forget the middle, where the nose is, and if you have your bands, you can try to pop them through. But we can do that in the end anyway. So we loop one, two, three. Now reach in here. You have these triangle bands. You're pushing them back and grabbing the bottom two and looping that forward. Reach in the middle, loop forward. Reach here, grabbing these two and looping forward. In the middle, grabbing these two and looping forward pushing the skin, the triangle band back. And there is an eye band. See, there's a triangle band here, and don't forget this triangle band here for the eye. Push both of them back, grab the, bar, the brown, and loop. Same thing here, the two skin bands, push them back, grab the brown, loop. Now you're gonna grab the very top two brown bands, and bring them to the middle top two brown bands, 
bring to the middle. Push down, re-enter this peg, you should have white bands, loop it forward. Same thing here, two white bands, loop forward. Reach in here, push everything back, grabbing the two white bands, looping forward. Reach here, grab the two white bands, loop forward. And these. <clears throat> now we are grabbing red bands. So grab these two red. And these two. So I've looped one, two, three, one, two, three. Now we're going to loop these two forward. You're going to loop this one right here and bring it to this peg right here. So from here to here, then bring these over it. Then reach in, grab those two, loop forward. And again, just always making sure you push the triangle bands back or the holding bands back. Grab these two, loop forward. So, so far all of these are looped for me. Reach in here and grab these two, bring it to this peg, and finally these two to this peg. Now you're gonna close it off with two red bands. You're going to take your hook and go through all of these bands right here. You're gonna slide two red bands through you're going to open up this, these bands right here, go in them, go through them, grab those two bands, bring it through, so now you have this over here, and create a slip knot. Now you can take her off. I would do it slowly, especially if you want the face to look pretty neat since they are the skin bands. Be careful because of the nose. And when we pull her off, we're just going to, or him, adjust the eyes and the nose. So this is my elf, and I'm going to just fix her up a little bit, pushing her eyes through and then popping her nose through. Pulling on her ears. And this band right here, you can go through those two bands again and just slide it through. You can hide it in the back. You can hang this on your tree, or you can wrap these bands around the top twice. So you can do like that, and you can't even notice. So here's your girl or your boy, depending on what you chose. If it's a boy, then yours should look something like this off of the loom. Now for the collar, you are going to remove one of those S clips or C clips and you're going to wrap it around your doll and just S-clip it to your doll. And that is your doll's collar. And I think she looks like the elf on the shelf. I know they meet the girl one now. Usually it's the traditional one is the boy, but I noticed that they have the girl with the skirt. So if you want your doll to have the skirt, I can show you that as well. This skirt, though, is made on the hook. It's not made on the loom. If you're uncomfortable with that, I have a skirt that I make with my Hula Girl. You can use that technique in my Hula Girl video and just do that. But if you want it to look just like this, then you can watch that part, and I will show you now how to do that. So this is your elf on the shelf. And for the mouth, I don't always like a mouth on my figures, but if you want the mouth, you can 
take whatever color, and I know she has red lips, you can go through these two bands and grab a red band, a single band and slide it through. And then you can go through these two. Her face is so tight so it's hard to get through. These two right here. And then grab it and pull it. And again, it's your choice. And then you can S-clip her mouth to the back. And then that would be your little girl. And again, it's preference. It depends on if you want that or not. So I will just S-clip it just for now. So now the next thing is to make the skirt. And again, it's on the hook. So what you're going to do is you do need um, the color of your skirt that you want. I'm just doing white because that's the color that she has on the photos. And you're going to start with your white bands. And you're going to take a single band and you're going to wrap it around your hook three times. And then you're going to grab two at a time. And you're going to make 11 loop uh, links. So that's one. Two, three, four, and five, seven. I did one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And 11. And I believe there's 11 here. So yes. So then after you have used double bands and made 11 links, you're going to take your hook and grab that that cap band that we grabbed, the one that has three only, place them together, and from here on you're grabbing a single band only. So this is a single band, and you're sliding it through, and then you're grabbing another single and sliding it through. And now you're going to grab these two, so you're skipping that band that has a three um, knots the three loops and you're going through these two and these two right here and then you're taking a single sliding it through another single and sliding it through and now you are going to go through these two so you're going to the next set Now you have these two loops that we made, and you are going to go through these two, and these two, and grab a single, pull it through, and another single, and pull it through. So you can see that this band is snagged onto these two, so you're going to go through the next two right here, two, and two. Grab a single, slide it through, and a single, slide it through. And now you're going to go through these two. Grab a single, slide it through, grab a single, slide it through. Again, grabbing these four actually, just going through the loop, grab a single, slide it through and a single and slide it through. You're grabbing these two. You're not going through this circle, you're grabbing these two because we're on this one already. So grabbing these two, slide it through and another single, slide it through. Again, going through and you can tell which loop to go through because if you pull, you're already on these two. So you're going to go through these two. 
a single, slide it through everything, and a single, and then slide it through everything. Again, grabbing these two loops, a single, slide it through everything, and another single, slide it through. Grabbing these two, single, slide it through, single, slide it through. Then grabbing these two, see if you pull, it's the next two. Slide it through, and another single, slide it through. And then these two. So we went through, if you pull, it's these two right here. Single, single. Grab the skip, you're not doing the one that you're being pulled on, you're going through these two. Now we're making our way around again, so it's one, two, and go through the, now we're grabbing thin bands. Before it was like two thick ones, so now we're going through these two thin ones right here, just two bands, so don't get worried, so it's one and two and now we're grabbing these two right here one and two and if you miss a stitch it's okay it, it still comes out cute I mean for the doll I missed the stitch and you can't even tell so now we're going to grab these two right here so you pull here and you can see these two loops right here one and two. Grab these two. One. And two. And then grab these two. And one. And two. Grab these two, slide one, and two. Then these two, one, two, slide these two right here. single and a single grabbing these two single and a single and these two single single these two, single, single, these two, single and a single, grabbing these two right here. And these two, and then these two right here, grabbing these two. these two so basically it's every time you grab the two bands <clears throat> then you thread on 
two more, and two more. And then you're going to grab these two. And these two. And we thread two. Grab these two. Slide two more on. And these. One and two. Grab these two. Do one. And two. And grab these. And do one. And two. Grab the next two. And grabbing these two right here. One and two. And these two. One and two. And grabbing these two right here. You're not grabbing the one that you're pulling on. So you're grabbing the next two. That's how you can tell which one you're going through. So one and two. So again, we're pulling on these. So you're going to go through these two. One and two. And it really depends on how big you want your little skirt to be. I'm just going to make my rounds and then I'll stop. So now these two. One and two. These two. One. Two. These two right here. One, yeah. So we grab these two right here, and I slipped by accident, so I'm just going to grab those two again and grab one and two. Grab these two again, slide one set and two, and it's almost a complete circle. Grab these two right here, slide one and two, and I'm going to have these two right here, and you're just going to grab the next set of the two bands right here and you're going to close it off. You're going to take a single band, slide it through, and this time you're just going to create a slip knot and tie it, and you close it off. And you can just hide that slip knot underneath, and then you can take your doll, grab the legs, and slide the little skirt on, Again, just hide that slip knot in the back. And then this is tiny, and if you wanted to, you could just continue to go in a circle and slip knot it when you want. It depends on the size you want. But anyway, this would be your female or your girl elf on the shelf with her little skirt. So I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope it wasn't too hard to make. 
And if you make an elf on the shelf, you can show me on Instagram on Marloon's Creations. You can hashtag me or you can show me on my Facebook page. And thank you so much for watching.